All right, anybody with a prostate, listen up. Did you know that it's easier on your pelvic floor and your prostate to pee sitting down instead of standing? Let's talk about it. My name is Dr. Kelly Peterson. I'm also known as the Belly Whisperer. I'm a physical therapist that specializes in pelvic, visceral, and orthopedic physical therapy. One major anatomical difference between males and females is that the urethra actually runs through the prostate. So as you get older, if you develop an enlarged prostate, this can cause lots of urinary issues. As you can see here, this is the difference between a normal uh, bladder and prostate to an enlarged prostate. Typically, your prostate is about the size of a walnut, about 25 grams. But as you get older, once you hit about the ages of 40 to 50, you can start to develop symptoms due to enlargement. By the ages of 51 to 60, 50% of males have an enlarged prostate. Symptoms can include dribbling at the end of your stream. It can be difficulty fully emptying. It can be a weak stream. You can also develop urinary urgency, urinary frequency, being um, getting up more at night. So just like when you go to poop, you want your pelvic floor muscles to be completely relaxed, lengthened, soft. You already have a muscle that surrounds the bladder called the detrusor muscle that contracts for you. It's involuntary. So you don't have to worry about trying to push or strain. You should never have to push when you pee. That is a problem. It's important to go to your doctor yearly or regularly to make sure that you are getting your prostate 